huge dirigible object first attracted attention on August 28, 1991 at 4.42 a.m. local time when it appeared on the radar screens of the Mangishlak Peninsula, flying from west to east at 960 km per hour and at an altitude of 6,600 meters. The object did not respond to the communications, and combat aircraft were sent to intercept it. The pilots intercepted him on the aerial sea, and described it as a dirigible, 600 meters long and 110 meters wide, with very little surface detail, except for two round holes near the front. The object did not react in any way to the presence of the Yets. As they approached, however, the MiG systems were shut down and the engines started malfunctioning. The object began to do evasive maneuvers in zigzag and increased its speed from 960 km per hour to 6,800 km per hour about half an hour later, the object disappeared from the radar, in the area of Lake Isaikkul, near the border of Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan. The next big event occurred a month later, when reports began to drip again that a huge UFO had crashed in the Tian Shan Mountains. It was said that the site was in a throat called Chaitan Mazar, or Tomb of the Devil. A search party sent could not reach it because of the heavy snowfall. An Air Force helicopter was also sent there and failed, as it had crashed. In June 1992, a second expedition was mounted, which arrived on December 6, 92 and established a base camp 2.5 kilometers northwest of the accident site. The trajectory of the object was such that it had slipped 1,700 meters after hitting the ground. It then exploded from within its center, flying in almost two equal parts and bending its internal structure outward from the center of the explosion. The surfaces and interior features were visible inside the object through the opening made by the explosion. The expedition immediately noticed the following unusual effects when they began to examine the object. They could not photograph the object because some kind of radiation exposed the entire film and ruined the entire videotape. Every time a team member approached within 800 meters of the object, he began to feel anxiety, depression, and unusual exhaustion. Within this range of 800 meters, the men's hair was standing in extreme. The instruments showed an unusually high amount of static electricity in the area. Compasses and magnetometers refused to function properly in the area of the object. The measuring devices did not register magnetic fields at all within an area of elliptical shape centered on the object and measuring 2,230 meters long and 1,700 meters wide. Even natural magnetic rocks showed no magnetic field within this ellipse. All watches and wristwatches stopped at a distance of 600 meters from the object. The description and drawing of the crashed UFO of a witness who was at the site of the accident but the strangest thing was the green symbols on a part of the tail of the object, and the dark rings, which surrounded a stern. Possibly the rings are part of the engine. The surfaces and support of the structures were clearly visible inside the ship. Would the landing like an airplane be planned by a crew, or was it by some program on board a navigation computer? This question can be a mystery forever.